This lesson will discuss the interactions of organisms to their physical environment. Life on Earth is a product of different interactions in a region or geographic area. Where both biotic factors such as plants, animals and other organisms and abiotic factor like weather, temperature and humidity. And landscape rocks, soil work together. These are areas where salt water and fresh water meet also known as brackish water. Normally, running water in rivers goes into sea. Water in estuaries is less salty. The measure of salt in water is called salinity. Thus, the level of salt content of water affects the ability of organism to survive. Let's do learning task number one. Organisms require energy to perform life activities. In this case, they need to eat food. Analyze the figure and observe the pattern how organisms interact and get energy. Fill in the blanks based on the figure. 1. Plankton may be eaten by small fish, shrimp and mussels. 2. Heron eats salmon and small fish. 3. Salmon eats small fish, stonefly larva, shrimp and freshwater mollusk. 4. Shrimp may be eaten by salmon. 5. Freshwater mollusk may be eaten by salmon and small fish. Intertidal zones are area where the presence of water depends on the tides. During high tides, these are covered with water. During low tide the water diminished and exposed the part of seabed area. This part sea can be sandy, rocky, or muddy depending on the presence of different materials. Let's do learning task number 2. Just like in estuaries, organisms in intertidal zones need energy to live through eating food. Analyze the figure and observe the different organisms and imagine how they interact and get energy. Fill in the blanks based on the figure. Take note, answer may not be in the illustration. Number 1. Hermit crab eats seaweeds, algae, and rockweed. Number 2. Limpet may be eaten by sea anemone. Number 3. Algae may be eaten bird. Example, herring gull. Number 4. Sea urchin eats periwinkle, limpet, crab. Number 5. Chitons and limpets may be eaten by bird. Examples, herring gull and sea gull. Let's do learning task number 3. In both estuary and intertidal zone. Organisms have different roles to perform. In this task, identify the organisms that perform the given roles. Choose the word or group of word in the box. Producers. They are organisms that produce food from sunlight and inorganic substances. Examples. Salt marsh grasses, algae, phytoplankton, lichen, cyanobacteria, seaweeds. Consumers. They are organisms that eat other organisms. Examples. Sea urchins, green crab, mollusk, anemone, fish, shellfish. Scavengers. They are organisms that eat food scraps and leftovers. Examples. Marine snail, sand fleas, crab. Decomposers. They are organisms that break down into simpler materials the remains of dead organisms. Examples. Diatoms, fungi, bacteria, tube worms, fiddlers, detritus feeders. Make a model of ecological or energy pyramid showing the arrangement of producers, consumers, scavengers, and decomposers. You may include the organisms that you answer in learning task number 3. You may use scrap materials in making the 3D model of ecological pyramid. Example, you may create your own model based from what you have learned from the lesson.